All right, guys, what you're going to see in the video is you're going to see this little electric mower. It is a 120 volt mower and her taking care of it, right? Yeah. Nice little job. All right, y'all stay tuned. 120 volt mower ran on an inverter and something about that battery in the video. All right, everybody, we're out here and Kira's about to mow the yard, and we are on our last hoorah with the Bouge, Bouge, Bougier, whatever battery. Um, the manufacturer is claiming that this battery, for some reason, has um, uh, reached its 100 amp potential by this inverter simply being turned on. Not a load, nothing on it, just turned on. But that's it. So if you want to know what that's all about, go up here and look in this corner. And I'll put a link to that video, and you'll see why it is a catastrophic failure. So right now, she's going to pull the battery out of there, and we're going to change it out for the absolute guaranteed battery, which is the Power, power Queen. Queen, right? Yeah. Okay, so when she gets the Power Queen put in there, we're going to get it hooked up. Now, one of the common features that we use, of course, is we will use a test light. To pre-charge it just like we did that in the videos mm -hmm. and we're going to do this one the same identical way because you don't want a onrush of power even though it's not going to hurt these batteries shouldn't have hurt that one never was applied against it but it shouldn't hurt it however we're going to do this just like that right now so she's going to go ahead and film me we're going to get our power put on first now because the bms in these batteries is off the negative side we're going to have this be our starter so we'll make sure the inverter is off which it is and this is that really good little alpha inverter and you'll see by the light here hopefully it's able to be seen it's taking the charge into the inverter same process we did with that bougie booger battery that didn't function two in a row and this is why i put the link to this power queen under this video i do it for an extremely good reason now Generally, you're just going to bring it down till it's good and firm. Probably a, a good 35 to 50 inch, inch pounds is all it takes. But DC current is always dependent on how tight you are on that, okay? Now, because she's going to come out here and do some mowing, we're just going to take advantage of the fact that the Power Queen was designed with some, uh, some little straps there. And since this thing in here right now, temporarily until I can do something better than this okay that is not the same one so hold on different brand there so we're going to do that just so she can do her mowing out here because it is a freaking mess we have got a lot of growth on our stuff out here right now so that the battery stays secure now the inverter doesn't seem to be picking up any dirt or dust and as long as you don't basically mow when everything's powder you're fine so we'll come over here and we'll power up and you'll notice immediately powers up no problem and she is going to hit the lockout pull the handle and you will get to see here at take off mowing which it's designed to do nice a lot of weeds guys a lot of weeds and yeah, not her she grows like one but that's about it all right we're done with that one scrap metal scrap pile scrap parts you guys be good subscribe <laughs>